So unfortunately, I have to do another draft. If you guys don't remember the last draft I did, it was the one when I got Jim Rice, and the first, it wasn't even anything of a run because the first game I played, dude left before the game even started, and then the second game I lost, so I was one and one. So what the hell is the point of continuing that run? So I guess I have to start a new one. I've been choking bad in BR, dude. It's been crazy. I've been lucky to get six wins. Let's do this. So this draft is not starting off so bad. Cargo, Tony Perez, Rich Gossage. Definitely won't be taking Sabathia, but... Man, this Perez is very good. I have not used this Perez yet, but that's what I've been doing lately. That's probably why I've been folding so bad in BR, because I've just been picking players I haven't used yet. It wouldn't even necessarily be the best player of the round. I would just take them because I haven't used them yet. I might take Cargo because I found that when I did have Gossage before, y you just gotta sit heat. You do. I feel like Gossage does get destroyed. This Cargo. I mean, the stats. The stats. So I might try and focus on getting a good offense, maybe the squad will go off because that's what happened. The offense was going off. I did have the 93 Kelvin Herrera, but all right, I'm rambling. Who do I pick? This might be a bench player. Yeah, it's gonna have to be. Mancini's not so bad off the bench. Yeah, Mancini. So, let's get this good offense because I don't want, oh, Reggie. Reggie would be Amazing to use in BR. 95 power versus righties. Alomar is... Is alright. This impact veteran Alomar is alright, but he has zero power. Salt Lamaki is only good from one side. I'm taking Reggie. Reggie has 63 fielding. That's the problem. It's alright though, man. Let's just try and hit home runs or something. 74 overall. He does have... A good variety of pitches. Need some lefties. Don't think I had one lefty in the previous run. Here we go. This might be this might be an easy pick. Because there's no way in hell it will be Kimbrell or Jason Vargas. This Edgar is also good. So Edgar could also play first base, but Correa, dude. I've been hearing this Correa is a machine. Offense is not bad, man. Reggie, Wilson Ramos. Dude, I was looking at this Wilson Ramos in the ticket counter thinking this is not a bad card. It's not. Very good stats versus lefties. And behind the plate, don't even look at that. You're either on everything but Tansis throws or you can't touch anything. That's pretty much how it is. I also did say that I wasn't going to take a gold or diamond catcher. I did say that. Kike Hernandez also has good stats versus lefties, but Wilson Ramos, he has better stats versus righties. Ah, man, I don't know. <laughs> Could he be a brick wall? He can almost play everywhere on the diamond. The only place he can't play is the vendor selling hot dogs. That's it. So even if I did take him, I don't have to put him in left field. Dude, I am sitting here thinking way longer than I should be. I don't trust it. I do not trust any catcher above a common in this game. So I'm fine with that pick. It's gonna have to do now anyway, it's too late. That might be a good option. This Chipper Jones, he doesn't have the best stats. Grandal has better stats if you ask me. Yeah, he does, why not? Fergie Jenkins. Not bad stats. I don't really have anyone so far that I'd really be confident in using, nobody. Watson would be a good lefty, I guess, but I have zero ready so far. I have to get at least a couple silvers in the pen. Otherwise, it's going to be bad. I'm going to have to just hit a home run every single time someone steps up to the plate. Even though I did say this will be an offensive heavy draft. It'd probably be a smart move to try and get at least a couple silvers. I'm going to try and get somebody in the offense with that gold round. So it might be smart to take Jenkins right now. All right, nice. Castellanos again. This draft is going good. 
Yeah, he might be. Yeah, Carter Caps. That's not a bad pen. At least I have one lefty. Considering this was going to be an offensive heavy draft, that's all right. Jeanette does have better fielding. So yeah, that's that's a good lineup. I still might try to take someone at second base with this pick. I could take Pedroia. Or, or the Sanchez. Actually, what am I saying? This is also good because Kike Hernandez can play first base. So I could just put Cliff Floyd in left field. The offense has to go off this run. If it doesn't, then I have no chance. Zero chance. Here's the plan. Hernandez. Actually, he can't play first base. He has better fielding than Cliff Floyd, so I might put Floyd at first. Let's see how this works. Everybody has good power. Cargo, 92-88 versus lefties. Correa has 92 versus righties. Reggie, 95. Hernandez has 88 versus lefties. Floyd, 81's good. Castellanos, 85. Everybody in the order has above 80 power, except for Jeanette. Yeah, and 76 isn't bad. Let's go, offense. It has to be done. He has the 96, Jacoby Ellsbury, D.D. Gregorius, Jed Jerko, Ozuna, Justin Bohr. Might be the best player ever to use in BR. Alvarez, very good power. Zanino, he has horrible vision on his live series, doesn't he? Like 18? Have to out-hit every single opponent or I will lose. Looking at strike two, a fastball. Ah. Too close to take. Run that out. Bad animation. Shit. Probably would have taken that pitch if it wasn't two strikes. Down the line. That's all right, though. That was that was hit hard. You can't ask for much more, Correa. Wow. That was a terrible pitch, man. I'm just holding my breath every single time the commons on the mound. All right, get somebody in before damage is done. Who's up? Didi. Should I put Watson? No, I don't know. I, can't, I don't know if I could waste Watson right now. I might just put Carter Caps in and see what happens. If he does damage, that's that's all right. I think he's waiting for the fastball. Probably a smart move. Or he's not. Why am I? That was supposed to be above the zone. This is not good. I can't throw a fastball. If I throw a fastball, he's waiting for it. Bohr will leave the yard if I throw a fastball. I can't do it. I can't throw a fastball. That wouldn't be a smart move. <laughs> I might retire from Battle Royale. That's too late. Good lord. I might actually retire from BR. I can't do anything in this mode. Fuck that. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. It's over. It's done anyway. All I know is I am absolutely horrible at BR now. Wait. What? I didn't make a piece of that! Why did I even take Carter Caps? This team sucks. Let's see how many runs he can get. Let's see if this guy can put up 10. That's the challenge. Can he put up 10 runs? Put it up! Leave the yard! Dude! He's sitting heat. But if you throw something, oh no, that's a, this is, this is a disgrace. Home run, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, I bet. Add $20, what's he doing, what is he doing? Actually, it's already done. He's probably trying to get the game over with and I owe everybody another $20. This was the worst draft on the planet. Get this over with. Get this pile of shit over with. This is done. This has been done. End it. End the slaughterhouse. Another BR run scrapped. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. All I know is BR has been horrible lately. I've been doing all right. 
in ranked, but BR, this is bad. Look at this. This is embarrassing. This is another run scrap before I even hit three games. This is a circus. Call the clowns, get the people doing flips and shit from the roof. This was a circus before it even started. So I guess that's going to do it for this video. I might have to go stick my head in the toilet before I start a new BR run and see if that will change things. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, subscribe as well and I will see everybody in the next video.